What's going on guys, Alfie here and welcome to another Trainer Sales video. Now in today's video we are going to be showing you the easiest way to get this guy. So as you'll know, Samurai is currently in 7 star raids as we speak and um, it's got a lot of moves that can crit. Austin John Plays I think found a Fire Tauros build that honestly works a charm. So what I'm going to show you today it's the best way to get a fire taurus. So what you want to do is you want to head over to East Province Area 2. And once you get to that, it's over there. Head across to the ruins, save your game. Because we all know before you use Herb Mystica, you need to save a game. Because it's hard to come by. Set up a picnic. And then in order to make a fire sandwich, the, the ingredients will be like down here. But you want a cucumber, a pickle, and then three red bell peppers. After that, you're after... I'm gonna go with salty and sour because those are the only two that I really have. And then any pick you want, doesn't really matter. Once you've done that, all you have to do is make the sandwich. Be careful with these ones because they do look like they stack, but they also slide. So just be very careful when you're placing these down. And there we go. And that is how you make the fire sandwich. And then above my head now, you will see sparkling power fire, title power fire, and encounter power fire. They are all level three. Once you've done that, Pack your picnic away if you want to, jump back on your Coriden or Maridon, and then just you want to head up here towards this tree and you will notice that a lot of Taurus spawn, some uphills apparently, <laughs> every single Taurus bulk that spawns will spawn with a fire Taurus in it. And yeah, it's just basically a case of running around on this field and they will just continue to keep spawning. I have had two of these Taurus in one sandwich the last when I was actually when I found this location. So they are easy to find. Um, you just have to keep an eye because it's a very subtle yeah, shine. It's literally just on this area, this little island bit, just run around. Like I said, them. every Taurus, every Taurus like group spawn spawns with a fire Taurus in it. But as you can see there, they do spawn quite a lot. This is it? Is it darker? Oh my god, shiny! Okay, I wasn't actually expecting to find one. Yes. There we go! Let's go! Oh! Shiny Taurus, let's go! Okay, so once you've got your shiny, you're gonna want to fly over to Monteverna. So, just right in the center of the ice snowy area, the mountains, and you see that guy in the background there, if you just run across to him, I'm pretty sure most of you at this point will know where the hyper training is, if you run over to this guy, you can speak to him, you can spend bottle caps, and he will basically max out all the IVs of your Pokemon, I've already done it with my Taurus, so I can't do it again, but once you've done that, I've already done it as I said, so once you've done that, it will look like, your stats on that will look like... That will also hyper trained, you can't see two of them but they are done. Once you've done that though, you are one step closer to being able to solo this 7 star summon. Okay, once you have hyper trained your Pokemon, it has to be level 50, so in order to do that use your XP candies, your rare candies, all that sort of thing, stuff to get to level 100 like I've done. And once you've done that, once you've hyper trained it, the next thing to do is to build your Taurus. So in order to do that we're going to give it the Shell Bell. And if you go to South Province Area 3 and you beat 6 of the 16 trainers, the guy at the Pokemon Center that hands out rewards for beating uh, X amount of trainers will actually give you a Shell Bell. However, back to the task at hand, once you've got that Shell Bell, you're going to want to give it to your Fire Taurus. So it's going to have the Shell Bell and then it is going to have the ability Anger Point. Basically means when it takes a critical hit, it maxes out the, stat, the attack stat which you'll notice this Samurott deals a lot of critical. So the build I've gone for is the current moves of Tail Whip, Sunny Day, Raging Bull, and then Flare Blitz. It's a Terra type of fight I didn't terrestrialize, so you can, but I didn't. Now, what I did was I set up with a Tail Whip, I got one shot, then I set up a Sunny Day, um, and then all that did basically was power up my Raging Bull. Once you've done Tail Whip, once you've set up Sunny Day, just spam Raging Bull. Your shell Bell will heal you up. The Raging Bull does more damage if you've got less health. Just Tail Whip, then Sunny Day, then Raging Bull and just keep spamming that Raging Bull. What I did is I used the PP up to increase the PP of the Raging Bull so I had 16 of them because I think you start with either 
10 or 8. Um, but I've I've got used a PP up on that to make sure I had 16, just so I definitely had enough. And honestly, I think I had about half of the time limit left by the time I won this raid. So, uh, yeah, I've been healthy. I hope this has helped you guys. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!